Aging is a, basically a process that happens to inanimate objects like cars, and it also happens to us, despite the fact that we have a lot of clever self-repair mechanisms, because those self-repair mechanisms are not perfect. So age, basically metabolism, which is defined as basically everything that keeps us alive from one day to the next, has side effects. Those side effects accumulate and eventually cause pathology. That's a fine definition. So we can put it this way. We can say that you know, we have this chain of events. And there are really two games in town, according to most people, with regard to postponing aging. They're what I'm calling here the gerontology approach and the geriatrics approach. The geriatrician will intervene late in the day when pathology is becoming evident, and the geriatrician will try and hold back the sands of time and stop the accumulation of side effects from causing the pathology quite so soon. Of course, it's a very short-termist strategy. It's a losing battle because the um, things that are causing the pathology are becoming more abundant as time goes on. The gerontology approach looks much more promising on the surface because it's, you know, prevention is better than cure. But unfortunately, the thing is that we don't understand metabolism very well. In fact, we have a pitifully poor understanding of how organisms work. Even cells, we're not really too good on yet. We discover things like, for example, RNA, interfe RNA interference only a few years ago, and this is a really fundamental component of how cells work. Basically, gerontology is a fine approach in the end, but it is not an approach whose time has come when, it, when we're talking about intervention. I'm going to add a little bit to my description of aging. I'm going to use this word damage to, to, to denote these intermediate things that are caused by metabolism and that eventually cause pathology. Because the critical thing about this is that even though the damage only eventually causes pathology, the damage itself is caused ongoingly throughout life, starting before we're born. But it is not part of metabolism itself. And this turns out to be useful, because we can redraw our original diagram this way. We can say that fundamentally the difference between gerontology and geriatrics is that gerontology tries to inhibit the rate at which metabolism lays down this damage. And I'm going to explain exactly what damage is in concrete biological terms in a moment. And Geriatricians try to hold back the sands of time by stopping the damage converting into pathology, and the reason it's a losing battle is because the damage is continuing to accumulate. So there's a third approach, if we look at it this way. We can call it the engineering approach, and I claim that the engineering approach is within range. The engineering approach does not intervene in any processes. It does not intervene in this process or this one, and that's good because it means that it's not a losing battle, and it's something that we are within range of being able to do because it doesn't involve improving on evolution. Engin the engineering approach simply says, let's go in and periodically repair all of these various types of damage, not necessarily repair them completely, but repair them quite a lot, so that we keep the level of damage down below the threshold that must exist that causes it to be pathogenic. We know that this threshold exists because we don't get age-related diseases until we're in middle age, even though the damage has been accumulating since before we were born. Why do I say that we're in range? Well, this is basically it. That's the point about this slide is actually the bottom. If we try to say which bits of metabolism are important for aging, we will be here all night, because basically all of metabolism is important for aging in one way or another. This list is, just for illustration, it is incomplete. The list in, on the right is also incomplete. It's a list of types of pathology that are age-related, and it's just an incomplete list. But I would like to claim to you that this list in the middle is actually complete. This is the list of types of things that qualify as damage, side effects of metabolism that cause um, pathology in the end, or that might cause pathology, and there are only seven of them. They're, quite, they're categories of thing, of course, but there's only seven of them. Cell loss, mutations in, the, in uh, chromosomes, mutations in the mitochondria, and so on. 